It is as quintessential an art form as there is, the portrait. And unlike any other style of art, it is a mix of interpretation and inspiration and is a unique opportunity to experience the essence of one person through the eyes of someone else. This week's concert features three works that qualify as musical portraits. Goretzky's Symphony No. 4 pays homage to fellow composer Alexander Tansman. Tansman's own Stele memorializes his close friend and mentor, Igor Stravinsky. And Sibelius's violin concerto can be viewed as a kind of idealized self-portrait. Here in Los Angeles, a modern take on portraits lines the buildings of our city. El Mac is an L.A.-based street artist known for his large-scale mural portraits commissioned throughout the United States and in more than a dozen countries in Europe, Asia, and Latin America. He draws inspiration from the European masters, as well as graffiti and photorealism, and the Chicano and Mexican culture he grew up around. And it's through El Mac that we can get a glimpse into the art of modern portraiture. The thing that's really unique to portraits is the necessity of really capturing the likeness. I'll really try and study that person's face ahead of time, you know, so that when I go into it and I start painting it, I've already spent, you know, a decent amount of time understanding what it is that makes them look like them. The advantage of painting a true portrait is that other people maybe have more of an appreciation for it, especially if they know what the person looks like. What I strive for in my own work is what I see in the, the great classical paintings, whether it's Da Vinci or Caravaggio or Vermeer. These paintings that could be 200, 300 years old, the fact that you can look at them now and still be moved by them is kind of amazing. Just as El Mac and other portrait artists capture the character and the essence of their subjects, on January 16th, we can listen to how the composers reflect what Aristotle called the inner significance for the musicians they are memorializing. <laughs> 